the one. I'm Dan Albers. Welcome here to Cincinnati State. We have our first game of our doubleheader. And our first game tonight is going to be Edison Community College against Cincinnati State. Cincinnati State comes in with a record of 20-1, and 6-0, and and number two in the country. And Edison State comes in with a record of 12-5 and five and 1-5 and five in a conference. And, Tom, we talked on uh, before we went on air. Uh, we remember them coming in last year with a uh, – with a 12 and uh, what was it? 12 and one, I believe. 12 and one record last year, and then they kind of went, kind of went downhill. Yeah, they came in here, and and obviously you're looking at the record. You don't really know much about their opponents. They came in here with a with a real nice record, and and they could not get the ball over half court for most of the first half. And by halftime, I believe they had almost 30 turnovers, and Cincinnati State just rolled all over them. So. Cincinnati State, obviously number two in the country, playing very well. Uh, unfortunately, a week ago they were 16 deep. They are now yeah. 11 deep. They have lost five players uh, to grades and uh, not sure if they're out for the year, but I believe they probably are out for the rest of the year. So that's going to affect a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot of scoring on that list of five, fortunately. So... Uh, Hopefully they won't miss a beat and get a nice, easy league win tonight. And uh, the, the bummer about that was how much we enjoyed watching Jamika Woods play in her first game that we've seen her in all year and thought that was going to just give a big added bonus. And then uh, for her not to be back is kind of a disappointment. But saying that, they've battled through this all year like that. And they've been, they're fine. And luckily their bench is deep enough that they can survive that. Yeah, I don't see them missing a whole lot. I think... McLean kind of hurt them a little bit just because she had uh, played very good defense. Uh, she had one good offensive game, but really her thing was playing really good defense for them, and they lose that off the bench. But, you know, they're talented enough, like you said, to keep on rolling, and 6-0 uh, in the league, they definitely have the upper hand with already a road win against Owens, who is in second place. So. They're in good position right now for the final stretch. And what that's going to do for them, too, then, is if they win, which, you know, it'll be between, I would think, them and Owens for the conference uh, championship. And, and when they get in there, it's going to give them a, a nice high seed. But sometimes it doesn't matter when it gets down to, the, the, as they call it, March Madness. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they really, like you said, Owens and Cincinnati State are definitely the class of the conference in the women's division. And, and uh, it's just a matter of how uh, – I'm sorry, I just oh, I didn't mean to go ahead. see what they're doing. They they notice the play that they do, the tip. They finally Very someone finally nice. finally got it. If you know, I didn't mean to yeah, interrupt Cincinnati you there. Cincinnati State, uh, one of their great plays is right off the opening tip. They usually get a layup in just about every game, and uh, Edison was ready for it. They had three people back off the circle waiting for it. Good call, Dan. Yeah, so I just noticed that right away. The coach said, uh, obviously, they probably watched some of the the films that we have or the games that we have. So. Uh, they were watching it right away. And, and how many times have we seen it? We've seen it oh, just about every game. Yeah, just, uh, just about every home game, I think. So Cincinnati ends up getting the ball. They'll have a D.D. Henry taking the ball out of bounds, get it to Dillingham. Looks like Edison's going to be in a man-to-man. -man. Fisher is going to swing it over now back to D.D. Henry. Henry goes off to her left. She's got 22 on the shot clock. Henry looking to try to set it up. Get it over to Fisher. Fisher has it on the wing. Going to drive in, kicks it down in the corner to Macklemore. Gets nice. it inside ah. to Frazier, but it gets knocked back to her. They only got eight on the shot clock. Henry's going to drive all the way in. Dillingham baseline, shot nice. good. Nice job by Asia Dillingham. She's going to put it up and in, and Cincinnati's up here two to nothing. Now Edison's going to try to break this press that Cincinnati puts on and does a good job in breaking the press. is going to be number 14, Brunswick. She's going to fire up a shot. She nice. puts it up and in. So ties it up here at two, coming back the other way now. It's going to be Macklemore. Macklemore swings it back now to Dee Dee Henry. Dee Dee Henry has it in the wing. She's going to drive baseline. Nice Takes it under. Pass. Nice pass inside <laughs> to Taylor Frazier. And that could be an all-night thing there, too, with Taylor Frazier. Yeah, that's both assists are from Dee Dee Henry right now, and there's their first turnover. And it is going to be a turnover on Edison. So Cincinnati up here 4-2, to 18.48 to go here in this first half. What are they saying here? Oh, still taking the ball out of bounds. It'll be Macklemore taking it out. And for Edison, you've got Brianna Innocent coming in, averaging 22 points a game, uh, ranked very high nationally in scoring. But other than that, they don't have a whole lot, and that's why they're struggling with 
with the regular teams. And it looks like uh, Taylor Frazier got the ball down low, but she's going to travel with the basketball. So Edison will take the ball out of bounds. They're trailing here 4-2. to two. And they get the ball into number 23, and that's Brady. It's going to go off of uh, Cincinnati. It'll go back to Edison. Taking the ball out of bounds will be Hegman. <coughs> Hegman going to get it into May. Back to Hagman, to Brady now. Brady's going to clear everybody out and bring him down. Ooh, Dominic Fisher kind of reached in, no call. We've seen games when they've called that right away, Tom. Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of turnovers off that point position. Absolutely. So there's Innocent. Gets it back. Now, this, you know what? They're actually moving the ball fairly well. Bringing the ball down. They swing it back now to Brady. She's going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. And it's going to be rebounded by Frazier. And D.D. Henry's going to quickly give it up to Fisher. Fisher has it on the wing to Frazier. Frazier kicks it back now to Dee Dee Henry. Give it back to her. Ah. Dee Dee Henry's going to get a screen. She's going to drive baseline now, takes it all the way, crosses over. McElmore inside a circle, says of a shot no good. And running it down is going to be Dee Dee Henry. And Dee Dee Henry now has it to McElmore, to Dillingham. Dillingham now going to flip it back now to Fisher. Fisher's going to drive all the way in. She got hammered as she went to the basket. No call. And it's going to be down the other way now. It's going to be Edison. Edison quickly is going to give it up now to Innocent. Innocent up and in. Nice. So Innocent puts it up and in. That's going to tie the score up here at four with 17.27 to go here in this first half. I'm Dan Albers, Tom Benassi here on Anderson Community Television, USBN Sports. T.D. Henry's going to give it up high to McElmore. McElmore's going to get a screen drive all the way to the basket. And she got her shot rejected by Innocent, but we'll see if that's going to be on her. Foul's going to be on number 20, and that'll be on May. That'll be her first. Yeah, and that, that's a move right there. McElmore's got to be a lot stronger with the ball. Cut cut in towards the basket a little more than what she did and cut the defense off. I agree. And McElmore in and out, no good. And she really, I think, Tommy, when, once she gets back to where she was early in the year, it's really going to benefit this team even more. She is so capable of playing a lot better than what she has here in the last couple games. Yeah, she's uh, definitely been in a funk. Coach Harris said he doesn't know what the problem is. Yeah, but I definitely unsure of herself when she shoots from the outside especially. It's like uh, Edison's going to call a timeout. Our score here is 5-4. to four. And uh, really it's kind of been a slow-moving game for uh, Cincinnati. But uh, we've seen that before where it's taken them a little bit to get started and they just kind of turn it on. Yeah, and, and he's already trying to draw something up to, to get them to – be able to get the ball up the court a little easier than what they are. And, I, you know, I, I don't know. We've seen it too many times where since A-State's full court press just eats you alive, and I have a feeling that's what's going to happen in this game. And after this game, we're going to have, excuse me, the men of Cincinnati State taking on Edison. And, Tom, really, all these games from here on out for the men, very important because uh, there's some big, big games coming up. Yeah, they, they make trips to, to Lakeland and to Columbus State as the next two games, and those are crucial games in the rest of the season for them. Absolutely. Brady now is going to run down that loose ball. She's going to cross half court and try to give it up to number 20, May, but it's going to go out of bounds, so another turnover by Edison. And I know last year for a fact we probably saw about 23 to 24, 25 turnovers and they were 12-1 and one last year. We saw that early in the first half, I believe. Yep, no, no question about it. I know they were close to 30, and we were shocked. Yeah. Because they had no clue how to beat that press. McElmore's going to get it inside now to Frazier. Frazier's going to power away, turns around, throws up a shot, no good. And uh. loose ball is going to be controlled by Frazier. McElmore swings it now to Fisher over to Dee Dee Henry. Henry's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. Nice. Dee Dee Henry hits a three-pointer, and Cincinnati's now up 8-4. to four. <coughs> Get it to Brady, gets knocked out of her hands. It's going to stay here with uh, Edison. Boy, it's almost like every every time they get one knocked out of their hands and then they have to re-enter. Yep. And uh, now you cannot uh, – uh, now look how deep in the corner they are yeah. just to start with. And they get the ball to May. May's going to give it up. Hagman to Innocent. Innocent's going to drive. She's getting double team. She walked like three times. They didn't There's call another it. Another one. And it went off of Edison. I believe it went off Brady. And now it's going to go to Cincinnati State. Yep, 
Again, you can drop us an email if you're out there listening, usbnsports at yahoo.com. Henry's going to give it up to McElmore at the top of the key. She flips it over to Fisher. Probably not a good idea, and Brady's there to run it down. And she throws it right in the middle, but there's McElmore to run it down. So another turnover. Dee Dee Henry's going to give it up. Oh, and she gave it up too late. And they're going to call. I bet you they're going to call her for a – no, taking it out. I thought they were going to call it on a uh, as a shot, but the foul's going to be on number 23, Brady. She's going to take a seat, and coming in will be number four, Weidmiller. Since they taking the ball out of bounds. And they get it into oh. Frazier. Frazier's going to put it up and nice. in. That was kind of an odd uh, <laughs> setup, Tommy. Yeah. They just everybody lined across. And they're going to put it in as Frazier. It's 10 to 4. Get it up to Weinmiller. Weinmiller's <laughs> going to give it up to May. Back to Weinmiller. Swing it over to, I don't have a 12, Tom. Oh, that's backborn. I'm sorry. Wine Miller has it on the wing. Since hey, that man to man, they got 12 on the shot clock. May's going to get it into Innocent. Innocent's going to power her way. Spin, nice move. Oh, sh shot was no good. Turn I tell the you other what. way. Yep. Innocent now has it. She's got three seconds. She's going to have to fire up a shot. It's going to be a shot clock violation. I'll tell you what. Innocent's probably the best low post player that Taylor Frazier's probably going to see. Yeah, one and, of them. If she actually turned the wrong way and got herself too far into the basket, if she would have turned to her right. She would have had an easy layup. 10 to 4 our score, 15 12 to go in this first half. Dee Dee Henry's going to drive all the way into the basket, stops, kicks it down in the corner. Macklemore baseline, fills up a shot, no good, and it's going to be run down by May. Excuse, was that May or heck? Yeah, it was May. Wine Miller is going to give it up now to May. May is going to cross half court, gets it in the middle to Innocent. Back to Wine Miller. Wine Miller. Swings it over. Get it now. Innocent at the elbow. Throws up a shot. It is no good. And it's going to be controlled by Dee Dee Henry. Henry quickly coming down the other way and gets it knocked back out of her hands by Weinmiller. So it'll stay here with Cincinnati. Tom, if I remember right, I don't remember this coach coaching as much as he's done right now tonight as he has. Remember last year when he sat on the bench and didn't do – was that him or was it a different one? I don't think it was him. It wasn't. I don't think I it was him. It wasn't. No. I thought it was for some reason. Asia Dillingham now has a basketball. 28, 19 seconds on the shot clock. She's going to drive in, throws up a one-handed shot nice. up, and good. That's four for Asia Dillingham. Getting it. Wine Miller breaks it easily. She's coming right down the middle. She had numbers. She's going to give it up, and oh. the shot is rejected, and it's going to go out of bounds. That last shot was by Backbourne. Her shot was rejected. Coming in is going to be uh, Craighead for <coughs> Cincinnati. Coming in for Edison will be number 14, Brunswick. Yeah, and if McLemore didn't block it, then Frazier was going to. Get it now to Weinmiller. Weinmiller's going to drive baseline, and she well, walked with the basketball. It's a rough way to come into the game and turn the ball over within a couple seconds. And like I said, Bri Brianna Innocent for them averaging 22 and a half a game and Brunswick with 14 and a half and nobody else even close. And there's D.D. Henry's going to drive all the way in and throws it over to Craighead. She's going to fire up a three-point, or excuse Use me, a board. shot. No good. And McAmore, they're going to call her with a foul going over the back. So that'll be her first. <clears throat> That's a position on the floor, Dan. you got to use the board right there. Another lost start in the game. Not a whole lot of people use the backboard anymore. Not at all. Cincinnati up here 12 to 4, 13.52 to go here in this first half. Wine Miller is going to give it now to Innocent. Innocent turns around to the basket, gets it inside. And going to kick it down in the corner, firing up a three point shot. Good. Got it. Three pointer is good by Backborn. She puts it in. That's going to make it now a 12 to 7 ball game. Get it up high to Dee Dee Henry. It's like they're kind of messed up on what they're going to do on offense there. Craighead has it on the wing. <coughs> high to Lattimore. Swing it over to Frazier. Frazier up high to Dee Dee Henry. Get it back uh -huh. in, and it gets knocked out of her hand by, I don't know if that was Innocent that knocked it out. or Coming down quickly the other way is going to be Backborn. Backborn's going to take it all the way to the basket, kicks it back to Innocent. Innocent. They got 18 on the shot clock. Here goes another three-pointer on the way. Good. Got it again. She hits another three-pointer. Blackburn on wow. fire right now. Two threes in a row. It's going to cut it now to 12 to 10. 
So D.D. Henry now is going to bring the ball down. Again, Cincinnati in the all-white. Edison in the navy blue. Swinging around. McLemore is going to drive in, kick it out to D.D. Henry. She's going to fire up a three-point shot. It is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Weinmiller. And Weinmiller now is going to bring the ball up. Here, coach trying to put the pressure on it. Innocent now has it at the top of the key. Backborn, who had those two big three pointers, is going to give it now into Innocent. Innocent walk with the basketball, but they're going to say there's going to be a foul. It's going to be uh, fouls on number 20. That'll be Dee Dee Henry. That'll be her first. And that should be pretty much the offense right there. I was just going to throw say it into 42 and let her go to work. Absolutely. Free throws, good. Well, we watched the game Saturday. Cincinnati State women played the University of Dayton club team. And uh, not a whole lot you can say about that game. It was uh, very, very brutal. 61-point scoring difference. And, you know, the good thing was that a lot of players got some significant playing time. Yeah. And, I believe they had eight players that played 12 minutes or more for Cincinnati State. So they're going to give uh, Innocent a rest and check in. It'll be number 34. That'll be Steva checking into the ball game for Edison. Edison only, Edison, excuse me, he's tied it up here at 12. It's the first time in a long time we've seen Craighead and Walton in at the same time for Cincinnati. And Dillingham. Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> Dillingham gets it back now to Craighead. Craighead over to Walton. Walton to Fisher. Get it down in a corner to get it back into Fisher. Nice, nice touch. shot. Cuts to the basket, and she's going to run one one-handed shot. She puts it up and in. Coming down is going to be Weinmiller. Excuse me, that was uh, number 14 Brunswick, and she lost control of it. And throwing a bad pass was Walton. That's going to go out of bounds. Brady's going to check back into the ball game for Edison. Also checking in will be number 20. And that'll be May. Speaking of Dominique Fisher, still leading the number two ranked surge in scoring with fi over 15 points a game. Get it to Lattimore. She's going to drive all the way in, throws up a shot, gets fouled. And the foul's going to be on number four. That'll be on Weinmiller. That'll be her first. So, Lattimore will be on the line to shoot two. Free throw's good. Brittany Latimer, we love her. She's instant energy. Absolutely. She comes in off the bench, and she's averaging double digits a game in scoring. So, she definitely makes a big difference coming in off the bench. Well, she did there. She made both free throws. It's going to make it 16 to 12. Coming down the other way is going to be number 12, making those big three-pointers. And that's Backborn giving up to May now. May has it on the wing. Weinmiller, 13 on the shot clock. They give it into Brady. Brady's going to turn around, throw up a shot, air ball, no good. And rebounded by Asia Dillingham, who gives it up to Fisher. Back to Dillingham. Dillingham's going to go up to the basket, nice get pass. it down low into Lattimore. Oh, oh, she missed. And she missed the lab. <laughs> I think she was too much of in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, great pass by Dillingham right there. And uh, you're right. I don't think Brittany knew how much time and how open she really was. So Brittany uh, Lattimore is going to come out. Craighead's coming out, and Frazier and Macklemore coming back in. So Brady taking the ball out of bounds for Edison. Get it down in the corner to Weinmiller. To Innocent, back to Weinmiller. Weinmiller now bringing it down. They're trailing here, almost gets it stolen, and it does nice. by Fisher. Fisher's going to drive in. She kicks it down low. Craig is going to give it back. Fisher oh, gets her oh, shot nice rejected block. by Innocent. There's nothing she can do about that one. No, not at all. Since they taking the ball out of bounds, 24 on a shot clock. And <coughs> McElmore is going to get it into Frazier. Frazier. Going to bring it back out. They're going to swing it around now. Dillingham. 
And it's going to be Fisher over to McElmore. McElmore's going to drive all the way in to no, she Fraser. Walked. She walked big time, turns around, throws nice. it up off the glass. Yeah, she, she walked big time. They didn't call it. She collected herself, though. She now has six points, Taylor Frazier. And we've seen no question about it. If Taylor Frazier goes, this team is almost unstoppable. Absolutely. There's another turnover, and that was by Fisher. And gives it him to Walton. Walton's shot is no good. Dillingham gets it, throws it up off the, <laughs> off the top of the uh, shot clock. It's going to go out of bounds. So We're going to have a timeout called by Edison. Edison is trailing here 18-12. to 12. Yeah, kind of another uh, sluggish start offensively for the Lady Surge, but uh, that is definitely not something we concern ourselves with here too often because we know that that strike is coming. It's just a matter of when, and it's usually late first half or early second half. They kind of have that little run that ends the uh, hopes of the other team. So Cincinnati trying to continue marching uh, towards that – uh, great season they've had so far. They're 20 and one and six and zero in the conference, and number two in the country. And Edison is 12 and eight and one and five. See if they can continue to. Uh, you know, Edison really hasn't played that badly here tonight so far. No, they've got uh, what two, four, six, seven, eight turnovers. I've got them nine turnovers. But when they do set up their offense, they're doing a pretty good job of working the ball around, and uh, Blackburn hit those two big threes, and then you've got Innocent on the inside, who I don't feel has touched the ball enough. No. You know, I don't know if this guy's related to Coach Weber of Illinois or not, <laughs> but he teach, Dude, that was going to be a reference. Teach the players how to throw the ball to the post. Edison taking the ball out of bounds. They're trailing here 18-12. to 12. Get the ball down in the corner. They get it to Brady now for Edison. Brady lose control of the basketball. Ball's on the ground, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll go to Cincinnati. So probably not what you wanted out of a timeout. No, and Brady's struggling. That's five turnovers for her, and, you know, I called that. You know, I see a lot of turnovers coming in that matchup between uh, Fisher and Brady. Uh, Fisher definitely the better player. Fisher brings the ball up high. Swing it over now to Dee Dee Henry. Dee Dee Henry looking inside, nothing there. Get it into Frazier, and it's going to be knocked out of her hands. This offense looks a lot different than uh, what they've had. It must be something new because they are moving like crazy. Yeah, a lot of cutting down the side of the lane, not necessarily into the middle of the lane, but cutting down the side there. And uh, luckily for Edison, uh, Innocent's been able to get her hand on a couple of from behind to save the layups. Macklemore. Going to get it in the corner to Dillingham. She's going to fire up a three-point shot. Good. Wow. It's a three-pointer. That's a big three-pointer by Dillingham. Age has got some she range. Was that, uh, <laughs> good at making it that far. And going to give it up now to Brady. Brady's going to drive all the way and pop, throw up a shot in and out. No good. And it's going to be controlled by Frazier, but I think there's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Brady. That'll be, I believe, her second foul. Yeah, that's a frustration one right there. And, you know, she actually made a really nice, smart move by pulling up on that little jump shot instead of trying to take it to Frazier because there's such a size advantage. Frazier would have swatted that one away. Get it now to Dillingham. going to give it back up to McElmore. She lost control of the ball. Saves it back now to Dillingham. Swings it over to Fisher. Fisher's going to drive all the way and kick it back out to Henry. Henry. Going to drive all the way in, throws up a one-handed shot, nice. up and good. It's doing a good job of driving to the basket. Cincinnati up now 23-12. to 12. Quickly coming down the other way is going to be Edison. Give it up now to Brady. Brady gets it inside. There it Edison is. spins, turns, throws up a shot every time there it should go it is. in there. I agree. Should go in there every single time. She had down too close to the basket. T.D. Henry's going to give it into Frazier. Frazier's going to throw up a shot. She might have got a block. Goes up again and loses control of it. It'll stay here with Cincinnati. Yeah, and I think uh, Innocent got a, a piece of that first shot by Frazier, and that's Innocent's third block of the game. Looks like, no, it shouldn't be a shot clock. Let's go with it, Dan. Wow. Let's go with it. 
Shot clock's at 29. I don't even really know why they have them. I, I mean, know. just. <laughs> Fisher has the basketball. Swing it over now to Dillingham. Dillingham up high to Frazier. Frazier swinging around. They're cutting big time in this new offense. Dillingham's not going to drive in. Throws up a one-handed shot. Nice. Good. <laughs> Dillingham's feeling it. That's nine points for Asia Dillingham already. And on top of that, she's got a three. There's a steal. Fisher gives it to Henry. Henry between the circles gives it back now to Fisher. Fisher swings it over to Henry. Henry gets it inside to Dillingham. Dillingham's going to square up, go to the basket, kicks it to McElmore at the free throw line, throws up a shot off the back of the rim. No Lower good. Back. And she's going to go over the back. So she's going to pick up two fouls, so she might sit for a little bit. Karen McElmore once again missing her first three shots from the field and picks up her second foul, a frustration foul over the back. So she's going to sit probably for the rest of the half. Checking into the game for the first time will be Ivy, number 24. Lattimore's back in as well. Innocent's going to bring the ball up the court. Backborn back to Innocent. Swing around, she's going to fire up a three-point shot. No good by Backborn again, rebounded by Dee, Dee Henry. Henry clicks and gives it up now to Fisher. Swings it back now to Henry. She's got a nice job spinning, throwing up a left-handed shot. Oh, up and in, no shot was no good, excuse me. And that was by Maisha Cooper, who did a great job on position. And there's going to be a foul on Cincinnati. It'll be on 21. That'll be on Lattimore. That'll be her first. Yeah, good quick move right there by Cooper down on the block. Didn't allow herself a whole lot of room turning towards the baseline. But uh, she, knew, she knew what she wanted to do when she got the ball. And that's good. Going to need that. Brady now has it for Edison. <coughs> Brady coming down the other way. Nice tip by Brady. Dominic. She's, wow. She's tough. And that's going to be on Brady. Brady. That's going to be three, Oh, Tommy. yeah. Yeah, that's three, and that's also six turnovers for Martina Brady. And Dominique Fisher gets her fourth steal. And uh, that, that right there is a matchup Edison does not want any part of. I'm surprised that they're not even getting anybody off the bench to get her out. I, that or somebody else needs to be the main ball handler at this point. And Maisha Cooper shot was no good. Lattimore with the rebound. She throws up a shot. I thought she got fouled. They didn't call it. So the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Cincinnati. They got 27 on the shot clock. You look for an easy basket right here for Cincinnati State. They've done very well on their inbounds plays. Get down in the corner. Fisher's going to fire up a three-point shot. It is no good. Runner down by Backborn. He's going to give it up now to Brady. Brady's going to drive all the way. And she walked. Shot was no good. It's rebounded by Ivy. Fisher's going to give it up to Henry. Henry's going to drive all the way in. Throws up a shot. Got Get it. Good. You know what I'm saying. Good job by Dee Dee Henry. Very nice. Foul's going to be on Brunswick. That'll be her first. Dee Dee Henry with seven points and a couple assists, but on that one, very nice crossover. Took the contact and lays it in. 6.43 to go here in this first half. Cincinnati State up here 27 to 14. Dee Dee Henry's off the front of the rim, no good. And it's going to be rebounded and controlled by Edison. Oh, and Innocent and Ivy go into each other, and I believe it's going to be on Ivy. Yep, 24. That'll be her first. That's team foul number five for Cincinnati State, so Edison will inbounds the ball again. Get it to Innocent. I don't know why they have her bringing the ball. If she needs to set herself up down low, maybe she's the only good ball. Well, she, I think she, it's, she's got a nice size advantage to be able to get that ball up high and slow everything down. But uh, there she turns it over. 27-14, 6.25 to go here in this first half. Dee Dee Henry, again, it looks like it's, uh, what are they in a zone there, Tommy? Or are they in a 1-3-1? One, one? Yeah, it's Turn insane. It? Oh, Ooh, Ivy got her shot rejected by Innocent. Coming down the other way now is going to be Brunswick to Winemiller. Going to give it up now to Innocent. 
get it down in the corners, and she's quick with that Black three-point run, air yeah. ball. No good. <laughs> she made her first couple big ones, but now she hasn't hit anything. Get it to Fisher. She's going to fire up a three-point shot. Got fouled and good. Oh, you know what wow. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> Dominique just laughing on that one. Three-pointer with the contact, and that's number one on Corey Blackburn. That was big. Fisher. Four-point play wow. for Dominique Fisher, and that gives her six on the game. Again, Cincinnati up big here, 31-14, 545 to go. Weinmiller's going to kick it down in the corner, going to fire up another three-point shot. It Ooh. is no good. Rebounded by Dee Dee Henry. And Ivy's going to have it now. Henry quickly coming down, giving it to Fisher. Fisher has it on the left wing. Back to Dee Dee Henry. Fisher's going to get it in now. Look across. Bring it around to Fisher. She's going to fire up a three-point shot. In and out, no good. And it's going to be rebounded and run down by Miller for Edison. They got numbers, three and one. Going to give it up. Shot off the glass, up nice. and good. Get it in to Hagman. Fisher coming down the other way for Cincinnati. At the five-minute mark, left in the first half, 31-16, and a lazy pass yeah, by Henry. very lazy pass. Coming down the other way, good. Putting it up and in is going to be number 12, Backburn. Is it Blackburn or Black, Black, Black Blackburn? Black, okay. I can't see the L. So I apologize for that. It Sorry, we cool. couldn't read the OCCAC yeah, last week either. Yeah, that's sad, isn't it? Fisher has it, gets it down in the corner to Henry. They get it inside. Now to Ivy. Ivy's going to spin, throw up a shot. Nice. Good. All right. Nice job by Ivy over the bigger innocent. And Cincinnati up 33-18 to 18 with 420 to go here in this first half. Oh. <laughs> The men's team were all clapping on that one. Brianna Innocent with a spin dribble that put Ivy on her backside. Definitely lost her big time on that move. Edison will be taking a ball out of bounds. Get it to Weinmiller. Weinmiller's going to get it down low. Driving in, it's going to be a jump ball, and possession's going to go stay here with uh, Edison. You know, I was watching Edison on that play. She never moved. Never moved from the spot she was in. So it's hard to get her the ball if she's not going to That's move right. and try and get it. Swing it around now to Weinmiller. Weinmiller has it. 15 on the shot clock. Spins, gets it to Innocent. Innocent's going to come off the screen. She's going to fire up a shot. No good and run down by Craighead. Craighead going to give it up now to Fisher, running down the right side. Swings it over now, and Craighead's going to fire up a three-point shot off the front of the rim. No good. Frazier with the rebound. Back to Craighead. She's going to drive all the way in, kick it out now to Fisher. She fires up a three-point shot in and out. No good. And it's going to be run down by Edison. Blackburn coming down the other way for Edison. 3.24 to go here in this ball game, in this first half. Cincinnati up 33 to 18. Driving all the way and gets it knocked out of her hand by Walker's oh, off, off her, her leg, leg of Blackburn, so it'll go to Cincinnati. Good defense right there by Walton. Walton coming down the other way. Got a 1 3 1 here for Edison. Oh, she walked, I thought. Big time. <laughs> Walton's going to fire up a three-point shot. It is Whoa. no good. Air ball. Whoa. Three of nine, 33% from three-point land so far for Cincinnati State. And nine three-pointers is actually a pretty good amount for them yeah. in the first half. 2.57 to go, 33 to 18. Cincinnati up on Edison. Get it in the, mil in the middle. They swing it over now to Blackburn. Gets it inside to Innocent. Innocent's going to try to save it. But there is Walton, and foul's going to be on number 12, and that'll be on Blackburn. That'll be her second. So we're going to go down the other way and shoot some free throws. 
And I'm not sure why uh, Brianna Innocent kind of panicked there and, and tried to throw the ball. All she had to do was just corral it and just stand there. I mean, I don't know why she jumped in the air and tried to act like she was saving it. But uh, another turnover for Edison. Free throw's good. So Walton's going to get on the scoreboard. Lady Surge now five of seven early on from the line. Edison has shot only two, and they've made both. Free throws off the back of the rim, no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Edison. Coming down the other way is Brunswick to Weinmiller. Swings it over now to Blackburn. Blackburn looking inside, nothing there. Gets it back Get up Get it high. to her. Get it inside. Oh, Edison. nice Taylor defense. Frazier did a great job denying the ball from going down low. Davenport's going to give it up now to Fisher. Craighead looking inside now. Taylor Frazier's going to get double teamed. And wow. That's going to be three on, on yep. Blackburn, I believe. Yep, it's number three. Yep. So Corey Blackburn's going to have to come out of the game. And she is leading the way for Edison with eight points. So that's going to hurt big time even though there's only 2.17 left and a half. Taylor Frazier on the line. Free throw, in and out, no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Innocent. Innocent coming down the other way. Brings it all the way down, stops, gets it inside. At the free throw line, throws up a shot, no Ooh. good at all. That didn't look good at all by Hagman. Coming down the other way now, Fisher. Oh, might have carried it there. Yep to Walton. Walton has a top of the key. We've got 157 to go here in this first half. Get it to Frazier. Back to Walton. To Davenport. They get it down in the corner. Who tried to do a, a kind of a non pass. Though. So it'll be out of bounds. It'll be Cincinnati's basketball. 34-18, to 18, 144 to go. Taylor Frazier and yeah. Brianna Anderson are getting to know each other a little bit yeah, on the inside. Just a little bit. Look at Taylor. There you go. Taylor Frazier up and oh. under. Shot was no good. And is going to be rebounded and controlled by Hagman. Hagman going to give it up now to May. May is going to bring the ball up the court. Good defense by Walton. He's going to bring it all the way over down in the corner. Cincinnati playing some really good defense. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Innocent's frustrated because Taylor Frazier's doing a great job of denying the ball. It's like they're going to get a foul late in that possession. It's going to be on five. That'll be on Walton. That'll be her first. You hate to see that, that late in the possession, Tom. They didn't have I, much time left. Yeah, I agree. And she was going to – actually, she had Innocent open because Frazier came over to help out, and that pass was going to go to Innocent on the other side of the basket for a layup. Free throw was no good. It's going to be tipped out, and it's going to go to Cincinnati. I'd go right back to Taylor on the inside because she wants to go right at Innocent. 106 to go here in this first half. Cincinnati up 34 to 18. Get it down in the corner. Get it inside of Frazier. Kicks it out now. And Craig is going to fire up a nice shot. shot. Oh, nice shot by Craighead. Puts it in at 36 to 18. Good inside out game between Frazier. And Craighead and right back. there, and yep, and that's over and back, and that's a that's a uh, turnover you don't expect out of her. That's three turnovers for Brianna Innocent, and only six points for a player that is uh, nationally recognized at over 22 points a game. Yeah, you can see the frustration building up with her. Walton's going to give it over to Dillingham. They swing it down in the corner to Fisher. Get it inside over the back by Innocent. They didn't call it. Swinging it around. And Walton's going to fire up a shot off the front of the rim. No good. Rebounded by Innocent. We're at 24 seconds to go here in this half. Cincinnati up 36 to 18. Wine Miller's going to have to hurry up as the shot clock is off. We got 15 seconds to go in this half. Wine Miller's going to drive in, lose control of the basketball. They got 10 on the Walk. shot. She picked up yeah, her pivot foot. They got five seconds. They're going to have to fire up a three point shot. Good. Got it. Hit a three-pointer was Brunswick, and that's going to be the end of the first half, and we'll get uh, 
coach's thoughts here in a few minutes. We're joined by uh, Coach Harrison. Coach, uh, it looks like your guards are doing a really, really good job of eliminating them to try to get the ball inside to Innocent. And you can tell she's getting frustrated as well. Uh, yeah, we, we know from playing them in the first game that that's the core of their offense. And if we can keep the ball out of her hands and make everybody else work, uh, it would be a little better day for them. And i like to see uh, Taylor Frazier down low is working hard, too, to get the ball. And she's doing a nice job getting up and under and trying to get her up in the air. Uh, she had a good game uh, with them up at their place, and we want to try to attack that and make uh, them work from there. Also try to get Brianna into some foul trouble. Got a lot of movement going on, too, a lot of, lot of, lot of cutting. And that's, that's, uh, is that something a little bit different? Or have you been doing that but just not as much? Uh, no, we, we do it so often, but we got three games this week, so we're trying to do some things half court to, uh, to keep our legs because we got a couple of back-to-back -back games coming Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Coach, great first half. We'll talk to you after the game. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, that was Coach joining us there, Tom, and uh, he seems pretty happy with uh, what's going on right now. Yeah, no question about it. You're going up against one of the best scorer or the best scorer in the league, and I think they're doing a wonderful job. Taylor Frazier and Dillingham inside doing a great job of keeping the ball out of her hands. But a lot of that is, like you said, the guard play outside is so dominant for Cincinnati State that the guards are not having the chance to get the ball into her. So, uh, you know, great def defense again by Cincinnati State, and hopefully they can come out in the second half with the same intensity. Our score here at halftime, 36-21. Tom and I will be back with second half action right after this. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Albers. Welcome back here to Cincinnati State. Our halftime score, 36-21. to Cincinnati, the number two team in the country, up on Edison. And, uh, Tom, I think the one thing that really stuck out in that first half was they didn't get the ball inside to Edison. I really thought they would try to get the ball into her as possible. Yeah, I mean, Brianna Anderson uh, comes in averaging over 22 points a game for Edison, and uh, just there was a few times where she wasn't working to get the ball, and then there's other times where she was open and they couldn't get her the ball. Either way you look at it, she only had six points. She had four blocks and three turnovers, so very quiet first half for her, and obviously Edison, not much of a chance to win a game without her produ production. And uh, for that, she, uh, let's see, Blackburn led the way with eight points. And then it was Innocent with six, and that's it. And wow. then for Cincinnati State, it was Dillingham with nine, Dee Dee Henry with seven, Dominique Fisher and Taylor Frazier each with six. So Cincinnati State did a good job of spreading the wealth. And uh, once again, you see their depth kind of be the major factor in what, what the score is at halftime. And for Edison, I, I tell you what, it, it's the same thing that I told you watching Illinois over the weekend. Get the ball inside. If my guards can't do it, then I'll put somebody in that right, can. Right. But get the ball into her, and either she'll either be at the foul line or she's going to get her 22-point average, one or the other. But that's their only chance of winning this game. Well, even even if not, she needs to come up top and set picks and do a pick and something. Yeah, she's it, got to be involved in this offense. Yeah, there were times where she got frustrated, and I watched her, and she did not move off that block. She did not go to the other side. She didn't trying to come off the pick, like you said, or create the own, her own situation. She just wasn't doing it. So right. it wasn't just the guard's fault. It was Brianna Innocent's fault also. So, But they are definitely going to have to make it a point to go to her. Uh, she, I, yeah, she did not pick up a foul in the first half, which tells me she wasn't very aggressive right, to right. begin with. So if Edison's going to have any chance in this game, Brianna Innocent's going to have to get her average in the second half. The only difference we have here in the second half starting is going to be number four, Weinmiller, for Edison. And May will not sit, uh, start here in the second half. And it looks like they're going to get, again come out in a 1-3-1, one, one, I believe. Yeah, and, you know, the only other stat, Dan, really to look at is Edison ends the half with 18 turnovers, Cincinnati State 4. Wow, that's impressive for Cincinnati State. 36-21, 19.53 to go here in this ballgame since they stayed up on Edison. Got 19 on the shot clock, and Fisher's going to fire up a three-point shot off the side of the rim, no good, and running it down is going to be Edison, and that was number 14, and that was Brunswick. Gives it up now to Brady. Brady's going to drive all the way in, but they said she carried the basketball. Oh, man. And that is seven turnovers for Martina Brady. And that's really kind of, if you think about it, the first time they've really had a, a fast break on Cincinnati, and they turn it over. Get it over to McElmore to get it down in the corner. 
McElmore has it. They swing it around to Henry. Henry back to McElmore. And Dillingham has it in the corner. 16 on the shot clock. They get it now to Fisher. Fisher cross court over to McElmore. McElmore back over to Fisher. She's going to fire one in between the circles. High shot, no good. Nice rebound by Dillingham. Nice. Gives it into Frazier. She got fouled, no call. Gets it back again, and now they're going to call a foul on Innocent. No, hold on. They called it on 14. I'm sorry. They're going to call it on Brunswick. That'll be her second. So, again, Innocent does not pick up the foul. Yeah, Taylor's going right at her. There's no doubt. When she gets a chance, she's taking it to her. And uh, you can already see Innocent's face. She's already frustrated. I'm not sure why, but uh, she, she's going to have to get going one way or the other. So, Frazier makes the first free throw. Next one on the way is no good. And it's rebounded by Innocent. Innocent throws a bad pass. McElmore with the steal. <coughs> throws up a shot off the glass up and in. There's where you go, Tommy, talking about using that glass. I'm not sure if she tried to or not on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give and, her the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to have a jump ball. Possession is going to go to Edison. Well, in Innocent's uh, down here pouting a little bit, but that's her fourth turnover of the game. So uh, I'm not sure who she's mad at, but she needs right. to be mad at herself a little bit. Another turnover again. Get it inside now to Dee Dee Henry. Henry try to get it inside to Frazier, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds on Edison. It'll stay here with Cincinnati. Checking it. It'll be uh, number 34, and that'd be Steva. She didn't play too much in that first half. Macklemore taking the ball out of bounds. Get it to Dillingham. Dillingham. Going to drive all the way in and kick it to D.D. Henry. Henry drives in, throws up a floater off the front of the rim. No nice good. Gets hustle. a rebound. Gets it down and low to McElmore. Swing it around now to D.D. Henry. 18-29 to go. Cincinnati up here, 39-21. to 18 on the shot clock. Fisher's going to drive all the way in. Kick it to Dillingham. Fires up a shot. Good Come look. I'll tell you what, That's Dillingham's got a pretty sweet little shot. Yeah, she's showing it off tonight. That's for sure. She's got 11 points. And Cincinnati is up by 20 here. Innocent's going to give it up. Nice a job. Nice look. Wow. Innocent threw a nice pass to Brunswick, who was running in and laid it up and in. And I'm telling you what, I'm going to let you know right now that popcorn smells unbelievable. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> Macklemore swings it up now to Frazier. To Fisher. Fisher down in the corner. Dillingham. Looks like uh, Dee Dee Henry might have lost her uh, little hair beret or whatever. Frazier drives yeah, all the way back. Easy. Nice and, yeah, well, what was did, that? Innocent yeah. didn't even try to play defense on that. Yeah, none at all. And they get the ball in now to Steva to Brady. Brady gets it into Weinig Weiniger, and they give it in now. Look at driving all the way basket up Got and it. in. Good job. That's two times now by uh, Brunswick. That was going to be on number 33, and that'll be on McElmore. That'll be her third. That's what I got. Yeah, I got her down for three, and real aggressive drive right there by Kendra Brunswick. Kind of picking it up a notch. She now has nine points on the game, go with three rebounds. And I believe she is their second leading scorer at 14 and a half a game. And Frazier's going to run it down. I think she stepped out of bounds. The ball's going to stay here with Cincinnati. Is that correct? Uh, I staying here with Edison. Oh, with Edison. I'm sorry. Cincinnati up here, 43 to 25. Dan Albers and Tom Benassi here on USBN Sports and Anderson Community Television. Brunswick takes a ball out of bounds to Wine Miller. Wine Miller kicks it back now. Brunswick gets there. it down oh. low to Innocent. She Shoot had it. That. Brady throw, fires up a shot. Wow. Good. Three-pointer. Surprised that uh, Innocent didn't even look to, to, to make a move to the basket. Not at all. Bray Lattimore's going to drive into nice. the basket up and in. She can make those off-balance kind of circus yep. shots as good as anybody. Oh, she could have been a travel there. Get it into Innocent. Oh, Innocent that's a got foul. Hammered. Shows him a shot. No good. Wasn't very strong when she got pushed. And you're going to give it up now to Fisher. Fisher's going to give it in to Frazier. Frazier Take it spins. to her. There you and go. She's going to be fouled. Right. She's going to the basket. And yeah. that foul's going to be on Innocent. And that is only her first foul of the game. Yeah, you know what? It's, she really wasn't even trying to block the shot. She was just frustrated and 
she was just going to be determined to knock her on her butt. She is, uh, right now, she's the little boy that lost her dog. She's very, <laughs> uh, she's pouting out there, not helping her team out at all. That's pretty good uh, reference there. You like that? Yeah, that was good. Is that from Jamie or? Jamie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jamie told me about a couple things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Frazier makes the uh, first basket. Frazier ready for her second free throw. She's free throw laughing. away. And free throws off the back of the rim, no good. Coming down quickly is going to be Brady. She wasn't going to go anywhere with Lattimore Gardner. Innocent's going to give it up now, driving all the way in as Brunswick. And no she got rejected foul. by <laughs> Frazier. Should have been a foul. I agree. Dillingham's going to kick it down in the corner, and Lattimore's going to drive all the way in now to Fisher. Fisher had Frazier. She does right there. She turned Take around the basket. Back to Fisher. Fisher's going to drive all the way in, and I think she walked with it, but they're going to call it on Innocent. Uh, she is. She doesn't even care at this point, Dan. If you watch her facial expressions, she could care less about this game. Taking a ball out of bounds will be Cincinnati. They're going to get it to Dillingham at the top, get it inside to Frazier. Take it to her. Frazier's going to power, but they said she ah. walked. Well, the coach doesn't seem too concerned with the attitude he's getting from Brianna, but uh, he's probably seen it before. Right. Since they still put on that pressure, they're going to give it in out of Brunswick. She's going to drive all the way in, get it to Innocent Spin, and oh! she got it rejected, and they're going to call a foul. <laughs> that wow. was less of a foul than the last time, and they didn't call her for anything. Foul's going to be on Taylor Frazier. That'll be her first. I love the fact she did, didn't allow her the easy basket, though. Make her go to the line and earn her points. And free throws put up and in. And the men have some big games coming up. they got to win tonight, but they've got some games coming up. they got Lakeland on Saturday and Columbus State on Wednesday. And anybody out there listening, you can actually watch that game on Wednesday night. Uh, on Go to Columbus State's website. Go to the athletic department, and you can actually watch that game. Might have to do that, Tommy. Yeah, I think that uh, is definitely something that I might do. Get it to Lattimore now. She's going to drive all the way in, spin, ah. and she's do a bad pass. Brunswick has it now. Brunswick's going to give it up to Innocent. Innocent, and goes out of her hands, and probably wasn't a good pass anyways. Taking the ball out of bounds will be Edison. Brunswick going to give it up. Off the glass, uh -huh. up and in. Barely squeezing that one in is going to be Blackburn. Blackburn had to sit there for a little bit. She had three fouls. They got a couple people. They got her and Brady have three fouls apiece. Fisher's going to spin, turns around, throws up a shot. Good. Nice. A pretty nice job by Dominic Fisher. That's only eight for Dominique, who leads the team in scoring. 48 to 32. You know, what? what's really, really nice to see is when you see girls. We saw Dominic Fisher come in and nowhere near the player she is today. Oh, I agree. And Lattimore got the rebound. And what a very good shot by Innocent. Foul's going to be on number 14. That'll be on Brunswick. That'll be her third. So they got three girls with three fouls. Yeah, three girls with three and one that doesn't care. So <laughs> that's not a good combination right there for Edison. Checking into the ball game will be number 20, May. And it's a shame because Innocent's got enough talent. Well, we'll see Cincinnati State. Like you said, they got those two real tough league games coming up, but also up on their schedule in, I believe, two weeks is a matchup with the number two country team in the country, South Suburban, oh, coming yeah, in here. Yeah. It's just what they want at the end of the year, playing that good those good teams. Dominic Fisher has it with 14 seconds on the shot clock. I'm going to spin it back now to said she walked with the basketball. She kind of flipped the ball out for herself, I think, and it uh, doesn't work that way. Cincinnati up here, 48-32, to 14-42 to go in this ballgame. Brady going to take it all the way down, throws up a shot. I think she got it rejected by Frazier, and it's tipped out to Walton. Walton's going to give it up now to Fisher. Fisher's going to drive all the way in, and she lost control of the basketball, and fighting for it is going to be jump ball possession is going to stay here with Cincinnati. 
You know, on that drive right here by Brady, I think uh, when you've got a uh, two-on-one, basically she had her defender behind her hip. He got a two-on-one with Brianna Innocent. The bounce pass to Brianna Innocent is your highest percentage Absolutely. shot that you're going to get. So since they taking a ball out of bounds, Haley Phillips checks in for the first time tonight. Walton can't dribble the basketball. Someone's going to have no, to come I, out. Someone's going to have to not, come out. Just pass Someone's it. Someone's going to have to come out. That, no, that's a double dribble. Double dribble. Yeah, they missed dribble. it. That was double, double dribble. dribble. You called it, Dan. Two good seconds. call. And she's going to have to fire up a shot. No good, and it's going to be controlled by Edison. Yeah, it should have been a double dribble. Yeah, that's a great call right there, Dan. You picked that up. And Brady fires up a three-point shot. It is no good. Rebounded by Walton. Yeah, that was a big-time miss. And Walton now has it. It's going to cross over. It's going to drive in. Kicked it to Frazier. She's going to fire up a shot. No good. Lattimore with the rebound. Powers her way down. Throws up a shot. No good. Frazier gets it. Throws it. Gets fouled. What did they say? 34? 34. It's going to be on Steva. That will be her first. Yeah, you know, I could see it in some situations, but Walton was standing out here yeah. 15 feet from anybody else <laughs> on the court. And nobody picked up on that. None of the three officials. And Frazier's going to make the first free throw. And looks like uh, Maisha Cooper going to check in for her as see what she does on these free throws. Uh, Taylor's on her way to another monster game. She's got 12 points now with nine rebounds. So she she's on her way to another nice double-double. So Frazier comes out. Maisha Cooper comes in. And they're going to get the ball in now to Brady. Brady's going turnover. to lose control. Another turnover for Brady, and that's what, how many on her now? She's I pushing that, double that, digits. Yeah, that's eight for her. Three points, one of seven from the field with eight turnovers. So she will come out, and Weinmiller will check in. Get it now to Walton. Walton swings it over now to Lattimore. Up high to Haley Phillips. They swing it over to Cooper. Good ball movement by Cincinnati. Driving baseline and nice block. She didn't even jump. Innocent blocked that easily. Coming down the other way now is going to be Wine Miller. Wine Miller is going to drive all the way in. Kicks it back now to Innocent. She walks. She's going to drive all the way in. Throws it up off the glass, up and in. Thought she might have walked with it first. That was probably her most aggressive move she's had all night. Yeah, that gives her ten. So she's in double digits still. 12 below her average. Lattimore, give it to Cooper. Cooper's going to drive in. Charge. There's a charge, yep. And that's going to be on Cooper. That'll be her first. I like the aggressive move. She put her shoulder down too much, a little bit out of control. It's like Dillingham's going to check in, I bet, for Cooper. Wine Miller coming down the other way for Edison. Wine Miller swings it over now to Blackburn. Gets it inside to Steva. Puts it up nice. and in. Nice job. So Steva puts it in. 50 to 36. 12 30 to go in this ballgame. Looks like we're going to have a timeout called by Coach Harris as we're going to get Dee Dee Henry, Dillingham, and Craighead's going to check back into the ballgame. Yeah, that was the first bucket for Joe Steva for uh, Edison. She comes in averaging 9.7 a game. Wow. And uh, that's her actual, that's her first shot. Of, there's no rebounds. She had no shots. So uh, they definitely need her nine points right now to help out a little bit. See if they try to get the ball into her a little bit more here. Well, right. I mean, you're, you're looking at a Edison team that, you know, unfortunately their star players kind of been AWOL here for a while, but – you're seven and a half minutes into the second half, and you're actually winning 15-14 in this half. So I, I think it's a it's something to look at right now if you're Edison and say, hey, we can play. Right. Just get your head up and, and let's start doing it. Absolutely. Craighead to Haley Phillips. They got 18 on the shot clock. And Dee Dee Henry. Henry's going to go off to her left looking in there for Dillingham. They do get it in her. She's going to power away, spin, six on the shot clock. Dee Dee Henry's going to drive all the way and get nice. it back now to Dillingham. 
Dillingham's going to throw up a shot. Air ball, no good. Oh, and oh nice try by Henry. Uh, so it'll be a shot clock violation, and Fisher's going to check in. And Haley Phillips is going to check out. She didn't last too long. Give it up to Weinmiller for Edison. And she loses control of the basketball. She's on the ground. Good, good. job by her. Very good. Timeout. Very smart move right there. <laughs> Calling time. Because that, well, that probably was not going to end well for Edison right there with her falling down. But very heads up, Polly Calling timeout. Yeah, and you, you, I saw I read her lips when she got up. She said, ow, so it must have been hurting a little <laughs> little much there. Well, right now you're looking, Cincinnati State, you're looking for that knockout punch. You're looking for that nice little run, about eight or ten straight points and kind of put them away. But, you know, if you're Edison, you're 14 down, and I, I think that you, you definitely have seen the positives here early in the second half, but you've got to have Innocent step up and you've got to have Steva step up. And, you know, they're well below their averages for the season. So uh, those two players on the inside have got to really pick up their game and get some points on the board. Absolutely. So off of the timeout, Edison has the basketball. Cincinnati's putting on pressure. Give it up now to Blackburn. Blackburn's going to drive in. Oh, she had Steva open, wide open. Shooting a three-point shot is no good. She's going to run it back down, kick it in the corner to Innocent. Innocent. Gets it back up high to May. Swing in the corner to get it inside. Oh, the that pass was right there. And they got 20 on the shot clock. Wine Miller gets double teams. Going to give it up now to May. Yeah, Steven May. wants the ball now. And they kick it down in the corner. Ooh. <laughs> Off the backboard, it was no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Maisha Cooper. Coming down the other way now is going to be Dee Dee Henry. Cincinnati up here 50 to 36 with 11 11 to go in this ballgame. And to get it inside to Dillingham, back to Maisha Cooper. She throws it off the glass. What a very good shot. And it's going to be rebounded by Steva. Weinmiller gives it up to May. She's going to drive, throw up a baseline nice shot. shot. Good. Nice shot by May. And all of a sudden, they got it down to a 12-point game. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Weinmiller has really done a good job of kind of settling the offense down as being the main ball handler for them. She's got three assists, hasn't scored. But she's the one that's kind of kept this thing together. So Dillingham is going to get it back now and throws up a baseline shot. It's off the side of the rim. No good. They're getting all Here. of a sudden to one shot yep. instead of running the offense through. Spinning around and almost losing control. Going to have to hurry up. They get it to Innocent now. Innocent gives it to Weinmiller. Weinmiller gets it down in the corner. Get it inside of Steva. Look Let's at him move the ball now, Dan. Yep. They got some life back in them. Weinmiller goes yep. up, and as she went to get up for the layup, her foul was on Cooper. That'll be her second. Yeah, you're definitely seeing a change right now in a couple of the Edison players. Weinmiller and Steva especially picking up their game. I don't think we said Steva's name the whole first half. She's got a couple points and three rebounds now, and she is wanting the ball down on the block this half. And free throws no good. And the only Edison State player to make a free throw is Brianna Anderson. She's four for four. The rest of the team 0 for three. It's not good. Nah. Nah, not good at all. Free throw on the way. No good. And it's going to go out of bounds. Ooh. Thought the ball went out on Edison, but it went out on Cincinnati. And this is one of those moments right here. You got you got an edge. You got a chance to, to knock this lead down. This is a trip for Edison that, that is key. Get it to 10 or 9 and really start uh, putting a little pressure on Cincinnati State, who seems to have lost their uh, swagger. their swagger a little bit. Like you said, they're not getting any offensive rebounds now. It's one and done, and a couple of those ones have been very bad shots. So... We'll see if Edison can uh, put a little uh, scare in Cincinnati State. We'll see if uh, Cincinnati will continue to, to march on their way to the uh, conference tournament. And, again, their challenge is going to be Owens, which it was, I believe – didn't that game go to overtime? Yep. Is that correct? So. Yeah, it was overtime, and Cincinnati State won by nine, I believe, in overtime. But, yeah, it, Owens uh, expressed number 10 in the, in the country – 
Since they state number two already with a victory at Owen. So they, they have the upper hand, but everyone else has kind of fallen by the wayside in the league. And uh, it's going to be a two-horse race, I think, for the league championship. On the men's side, you've got probably still a four-team race, Lakeland, Columbus State, Cincinnati State, and Cuyahoga. 50-38. to 38 is our score here. It's like Edison will be taking the ball out of bounds. 10.04 to go in this ball game since they're trying to hang on for their 21st victory. Trying to get the ball into Edison. They can't get it in. And they throw it. It's going to be knocked out, but Weinmiller is going to run it down. She's doing a good job. She's doing a very good job, I she think. She got hammered as she went to the basket. Ooh, I think she hurt herself. This is... And this, this is one of those, if you're one of her teammates, you're like, come on, get up. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping it's not uh, the uh, the Achilles. She's going to have to come out now. Trainer's coming out with the coach. So she's going to have to exit at least for one one set here. Hey, go ahead and just hit that but red button just to shut it off. So we well don't for him, but now I'm not sure who's going to handle the ball. I'm guessing maybe Blackburn. So we're back uh, here on the uh, cable side of it. And going off was uh, Weinmiller, and it doesn't look like she'll return to the game. So shooting free throws for Weinmiller will be uh, number Brunswick. 14, Brunswick. And she makes it. So they make the first free throw besides the name of Innocent. Yeah, and Weinmiller was 0 for 3. So <laughs> little gamesmanship there, Dan. And she makes both of them. So that's a good sign for them. And they've cut it to a 10-point lead. It's only 50-40 to 40, Cincinnati State. Is up where Cincinnati up was up with a commanding lead, but now it's a 10 point lead for Cincinnati. Dillingham swings it down in the corner. Frazier to Dillingham. 12 on the shot clock, 10 on the shot clock. Gonna have to hurry up. DD Henry's gonna fire up a shot in and out, no good. And it is rebounded and controlled by Blackburn. Blackburn gets it down in the corner. Oh, Up she went and up down. and down. Oh, no she kept ball. her feet. Wow. Get it back inside. Nice Going pass. to the basket. No good, but There's, Steph is there. How about that? Put it up and in, and they're only down eight. And once again, Steva comes up big with the rebound and stick back. And Brittany Lattimore is getting ready to check in for Cincinnati. Edison trailing by as much as close to 20, I believe. Wasn't it, Tom? Yeah, it was 20 at one point. And it's down to an eight-point game for Cincinnati. Dillingham's going to drive, spin, throws it up nice. off the glass. Nice job by Dillingham. And that's, that's a way to answer. Yeah, that's Dillingham's first two of the second half. She had nine in the first half. And Blackburn going to give it up now to Steva. Steva's going to give it up now to, to Blackburn. Blackburn's going to drive all the way in, throws it up. An air ball, no good. And Frazier... With the rebound, but they're going to call a foul, I believe, on Black. That'll be her fourth. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big that, one. Uh, that hurts a lot because now you're coming back with Brady as your point, and uh, we have not seen her do a very good job for Edison to this point. So there's a lot of pressure on Martina Brady right now to keep this little run going for Edison. Cincinnati, as we said, up here, 52 to 42, 821. Dee Dee Henry is going to give it to McAmore. Get it into Frazier. Frazier's going to square all the way to the basket. Turns up. Throws oh, up. you got to no make good. that one. Rebounded by Innocent. Brady now has it coming down the other way. Get it inside to step. But good defense nice. by McAmore. All right. Dillingham going to give it up to Lattimore. Driving to the basket. She got fouled. No call. You kidding me? <laughs> wow. Coming down the other way now, and shot is no good, and Macklemore comes down with the rebound, and now they call that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Foul's going to be on number 20. That'll be her second on May. Wow, that is unbelievable. I don't know how you don't call that one down at the other end. Yeah, I thought for sure that was a uh, automatic one there, but uh, we'll take it. Karen Macklemore is going to go to the line. She's one of two on the night. She's only got three points, Dan, coming in averaging 13 a game. Wow. She makes a free throw. Cincinnati's 
7.48 to go. Cincinnati up here is 53-42. to Free throw, good. So he makes both of them. Well, Steve is doing a job right now for Edison, keeping him in the ball game. Unfortunately, Edison has yet to join the party. And Brady now has it. Gets double team, gives it up to Edison. Edison's going to drive at the elbow, throws up a shot. It is no good. And it's going to be controlled by Lattimore for Cincinnati. Lattimore quickly given up to Dillingham. Dillingham lost control ah. of the basketball. And good job by Innocent to get the ball on the ground. Brady's got a two-on-one here. Brady's going to take it all the way to the basket and gets fouled by Dee Dee Henry. And Henry's going to pick up her third foul. And this is, uh, this is one way right here. Edison can get back in this ball game by making free throws. But once again, I think the key for them, get the ball down low to Steva and Innocent Absolutely. and let them go to work. And all of a sudden, Tommy, they're making free throws. Martina Brady with only four points on the night. Struggling, handling the ball with nine turnovers. But now it's crunch time, and we'll see how she uh, picks up her game. Free throws no Steve good. Steve again. Steve with the rebound, gets it inside to Innocent. Innocent turns around, throws it up. Shot is no good, and it's going to be Dillingham with the rebound. McLemore is going to give it back now to D.D. Henry. Getting ready to go under seven minutes in this ballgame. Cincinnati only up 11 here, 54-43. At one point, they were up 20. D.D. Henry looks like they're going to be in a man-to-man, -man, does Edison. Looks like they're kind of standing around now, Tom, not moving like they were before. No, not at all. I say you attack. There you go. Attack her. Make her play. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession is going to go to Edison. It's like Coach Harris is going to call a timeout. He's not like what he sees. Well, I think, uh, you know, if you're Cincinnati State, just run your offense, make them play defense, and, and it's proven on the inside. Innocent just wants no part of this game. And I, I think if you attack her right now, you're going to pick up easy fouls and get to the free throw line instead of settling for long-range jump shots. Go at her. But you got to take your hats off to Edison and look like they were a uh, little bit of trouble here tonight in that first half. And they come back and they've cut it down and right back into this ball game. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the coach has got to be pretty happy right now with where they're sitting. You know, the unfortunate thing is you got Blackburn on the bench with four fouls, and uh, yeah, I think you need her scoring. You got Brunswick kind of picked it up a little bit, and Steva obviously picked it up. Once again, you got Innocent sitting on only three baskets for the wow. game, four free throws. So she's got ten points still. Very sluggish game for her, and I don't know if it's frustration dealing with the bigger players like Dillingham and Frazier and them back to back, and I don't know, but she definitely uh, doesn't seem too interested in uh, trying to score in this game. That's just a shame, and like we said earlier, she's she definitely has the potential to be a really good ball player. Edison having trouble getting it out. Finally do get it in to May. She's going to give it up now. Brunswick. All the way down. All the way. all the way was Brunswick. And Coach Harris is not happy with that at all. No, and I think it was Innocent that kind of did a little screen right there to allow her the lane to the basket. And Dee Dee Henry coming down the other way now. Give it to McAmore. Swing it over now to Fisher. Off balance shot, good. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how she made that one. But they'll take it, I'm sure. And that puts Fisher in double figures with 10 points. Cincinnati trying to put on that pressure, trying to tell Brady, he's trying to tell everybody to clear out. And coming down the other way, now they kick it down in the corner. Steph is oh, nice it pass. Innocent. Innocent's going to put nice. a left-handed shot up and in. Oh, that's a great job by Steva. She's really coming on here in the second half, oh, too. She's played very well in the second half. Four points, five rebounds, and now an assist. She didn't even mark the score count, any of the stats in the first half. Oh, McElmore throws an off-balance shot. That wasn't what they wanted at all. And no. now it's going to come down the other way. It's going to be Edison. I'll tell you what, that's not, that's not something you want when they've cut it down to 56 to 47, the kind of a shot you want. 
Well, that's the one thing we've seen on Cincinnati State. They don't have the willingness to run the clock down a little bit and work for a better shot. They get rushed, even and with a big another lead. turnover. Get it to Fisher. She's got an easy layup, puts it up and in. Is that Bay, uh, Bay, uh, Brady again on another turnover? No, that was... Uh, There's another turnover uh, again, goodness. and that was on uh, number 20. They're going to give it back to Edie Henry. Put up and in. Wow. You know what? Just like that, Tommy. Yeah, yeah you're right. It, it just happens that quickly for the surge. They just keep coming at you, and they can hit you very quickly. And 13-point lead now is is huge. And you could just feel Edison creeping back in. Right. And boom, two straight turnovers, two straight layups. And, and now you're back behind the eight ball. And I think right now, well, I know uh, Winemiller is, yep, she talked her way back into the game. <laughs> Wow. So you you got to like that. She I didn't was, think she would come back in. She was just standing there pulling on Coach's sweater, and he, she's like, I want to go back. I want to go back. you got to love that. Yeah, you do got to love that. You know, it's, ama it's amazing to me. I, I was listening on the uh, – talking about the Super Bowl and talking about some of the players that got hurt. And uh, – Talking about uh, some of the players that uh, were hurt, and that David Deal that plays with the Giants had a broken hand throughout the whole Super Bowl and still played. And that, that's what it's all about, man. You want guys like that. You want players that are going to play hurt no matter what. Yeah, and that's why I'm kind of disappointed and innocent right here coming in, you know, averaging that many points a game, and she just seems to have let herself get taken out of the game emotionally to where she's not working hard. It just doesn't seem like she's working that hard. I'd be wanting that Absolutely. ball every time down the floor. Give me the ball. Absolutely. So there's Weinmiller. Doesn't look like she's uh, have too much ill effects there, Tommy. And she's looking inside. She did have Steva. And to get the ball around to Brunswick. Blackburn's going to drive all the way, and they kick it back now. Weinmiller's got eight on the shot clock. Give it up to Brunswick. Brunswick at the free throw line. Throws up a shot. It is no good. Push nah. off on Taylor yeah. Frazier. Yeah, that was a good call right there. And Innocent will be on the line. And uh, Brianna Innocent, four for four from the free throw line. And these are must free throws the rest of the way for Edison. Free throw's good. I mean, you see the way she shoots free throws, Dan. And uh, I tell you what, it, like I said, you, she could not possibly touch the ball too many times in my book. And free throw was no good, and Taylor Frazier with the rebound. Coming down is Fisher. Fisher has it on the wing. Kick it back now to Craighead. I'm sorry, that's Walton, I'm sorry. McElmore goes with the running floater. She got fouled, but... I don't know if that's what you want. That's three on Brianna Innocent. Kind of turned her back on the play and picks up a foul. Macklemore to the line, three of four tonight. Only five points. And Macklemore's going to make a free throw. Well, if you're Cincinnati State, you just come down and Make Just your free throws. Make your free throws. Calmly run your offense. Take your time. Get an open shot or get to the free throw line, one or the other. Don't start launching threes. Absolutely. Coming all the way down, they kick it down in the corner. That's Weinmiller now. Weinmiller, oh, she had Innocent wide open but didn't saw her too late. And they're going to throw it in now nice. to Weinmiller. She puts it oh, up. Oh, you no got to make that. She, and now she's frustrated. Yeah, I'm not sure who she's mad at. <laughs> I mean, and Weinmiller does a nice job on Walton. Give it up now to Frazier. She's got Dillingham wide open. 3.38 to go here in this ballgame. Cincinnati up 62-48. to 48. McElmore going off to her left. Flips it back now to Walton. To Fisher. Fisher's going to fire up a three-point shot. Air ball, no good. It's exactly what you said, Tommy. They didn't want to do. Yeah, I, you know, there's, there's plenty of room in there. Just drive to the basket. And then either dish it off or, or uh, go at Innocent right there. Once again, frustrated with her teammates. I'm not sure why, because she's the one that missed the layup. They didn't. 
And nice job going after that ball was number 14, Brunswick. And I love the way they're playing, Tommy. Yeah, I'm, you know, like I said, I just, I wish they had five out there that wanted to play the same way. It might make this game a little more interesting. Fisher's going to give it up now to Dee Dee Henry. <coughs> Henry gets a screen. Going to drive all the way in. Throws it up on her shot. No good. Out of control. Coming down the other way. They're going to get it to Brunswick. Running the court. Lays it up and in. It gets oh, fouled. that's big. Wow. Well, Kendra Brunswick wants to play. She's now got 17 points. Three, what, three above her average, I believe. So, real nice game for Kendra Brunswick right now. And she's going to step to the line for a three-point play. And she is, let's see, she's Fort Recovery, Ohio. So, now they've got it back to an 11-point game. Frazier is going to give it out to Dee Dee Henry. Take your time. 2.53. The clock is on their side right now. There Frazier you go. Take it to her. Powers away down. They kick it now to McAmore. McAmore in between two defenders. Throws ah. it up. Shot no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Innocent. And not a very good pass. It's going to go off of uh, Edison. It'll go to Cincinnati. Yeah, and that's, nah, that's a tough turnover to swallow right there if you're Edison. They just need to slow it down a little bit. Don't get in too big of a hurry. You still have two and a half minutes left. And Dee Dee Henry now bringing the ball up the court to Dillingham. It's going to drive all the way in. Pulls up, throws up a shot. No need for that either. And they're going to luckily get the turnover. McLemore's going to drive in, gets fouled, and she's going to the basket. Who's it on? I didn't see it. Innocent. That'll be wow. her fourth. You know what? It's easy to pick up fouls when you don't want to play. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I'm very disappointed in a play of Brianna Innocent tonight. And McLemore continues to drain him. Six of seven from the free throw line. That is huge down the stretch of a game. Free throw, good. Nice. So she hits... Some more free throws. That's going to extend the lead to 64 to 51. 2:21 to go in this ball game. Cincinnati up on Edison. Dan Albers and Tom Benassi here on USBN Sports and Anderson Community Television. Edison drives oh, the basket yeah. blocked by <laughs> Frazier, and she gets her own block. I love it. And driving all the way in is Fisher. Shot is no good. Oh, and Innocent with the rebound. She's going to give it up now to Brady. Brady's going to give it up now to Brunswick. Oh, Back nice to Brady. Pass. Throws it up off the glass. Nice. Up and in. It's a great job by both those girls. Yeah, Brunswick could have very easily taken that. But nice, nice dump off to Brady and nice little run here by Edison. And Cincinnati State just needs to settle down. And McMore's going to spin, throws up a shot off the front of the rim, no good. She gets her own rebound, but Brady's there, going to run it down. And Brady's going to bring it back out. And they get it down in the corner. They got 128 nah, in this game. Bad she wasn't turnover. open. Yeah, she yeah, wasn't open on that. I believe that's going to be on Brady. That'll be her fourth. Tom, every time that they got within reason, they would just do a silly, silly turnover. Yeah, you know, they wanted so badly to get the ball down low, but Steva was not open on that play, trying to force it in there. But, Dan, look at the face of Brianna Innocent. I'm sorry. Just look at her face. I mean, she's just not. I don't know. I, I'm. I don't know if I was coaching. I know where she'd be. So, <laughs> free throws good by Dee Dee Henry. Macklemore going to come out. Lattimore going to check in. So Priyana sent four of fourteen from the field. So you can be frustrated with your teammates all you want, but you're not doing the job on your own. So she makes her other free throws. 66-53, 125 to go. In his ball game, and they get it now to Brady. Brady's going to come all the way in. Oh, She's nice look! Wide open, puts it up and in to Steva. So Steva puts it up and in. That's still now still an 11 point ball game. 111 to go in his ball game. Dee Dee Henry. That's it for her. No, up. you know what? That's the best thing that could happen to Edison right now is to have her out of the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not enough time left. And she's going to foul out of the ball game. 
That is just a poor performance right there. Poor performance. Checking into the ball game will be number 30, uh, Hagen. But I guess when you're averaging 22 and a half, you can act however yeah. you want. I, I don't know. But definitely did not uh, play with any heart tonight for Edison, or this game would be a little closer. And free throw's good. I'm looking over there to the men's side, and it's like Baysmore's in some street clothes. So it looks like he might be a casualty of uh, the grades. And Henry makes the other one. 68 to 55, 104 to go in this ball game. And they're going to get it now to Brady. Give it up to Hagedorn to get it down in the corner. Fires up a three-point shot. It is no good. Rebounded by Brady. Goes up, gets fouled, and shot is no good. Foul's going to be on 32. Taylor Frazier, that'll be her third. Now that's a uh, bad thing there, Dan. <laughs> Baysmore had started. Two but, or three games in a row. Yeah, like three or four, well, I you thought, know in a row. Now and now all it, of a sudden. He didn't play at all. He didn't last, play, yeah. yeah. And free throw's good. 68 to 56, 49 seconds to go in this game. Hold the ball. Do yeah. not shoot the ball. Fisher has it. 43 seconds, about 20 seconds differential on a game clock and a shot clock. 38. And they throw up an off-balance shot. Goes in. Wow. That was big time off balance, but come down the other way is going to be Brunswick. Brunswick gets double teamed. It's going to kick it out now. Got Steva that's open, but a bad pass. And I'll tell you what, Brunswick all over the place. Yeah, she, you know what? Her And if you would have had the play of Steva in the first half that you had in the second half, it, it's a whole different story. That along with Le uh, Weinmiller, who definitely was the key to that little comeback, Absolutely. no doubt about it, even though she wasn't scoring. She was the one that kept Edison in this game for as long as they were in it. So Cincinnati's just going to sit there. All they got to do is run the clock out. There's 16 seconds, 14 seconds. They're just going to run it on down, and Cincinnati will come up with their 21st victory of the year. Yep. <laughs> oh, bad pass to Brady. <laughs> Brady's going to take it all the way in, throws it up, and in. <laughs> Jeez. So they're going to get oh, it in now, and that's going to be the end of the ball game. Wow. So that's it. We'll get uh, Coach Harris to join us here in a few minutes and get his thoughts on this game. Cincinnati comes up with a 70-58 to victory, and uh, we'll see what uh, Coach Harris has to say. But uh, it doesn't matter how you win as long as you win. I agree. You know, they, I, I think Edison played with a little more heart in the second half than he did in the first half, and unfortunately a very disappointing effort by their star, Brianna Innocent, uh, who didn't got very frustrated with playing against Frazier and Dillingham on the inside. Coach, uh, you come out with a 70-58 uh, to 58 victory. I'm sure you're probably not uh, happy with uh, the, the overall performance, but uh, Edison played well in the second half. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with the second half. Uh, horrible second half offensively and defensively. What, what, well, saying that, you guys are 20, uh, 21 victories. Good teams find a way to weather a storm when they're not playing well, and that's what you guys did tonight. I mean, yeah, it's, it's great to be able to do the things that we do uh, based off our talent level and our skill level, but you still got to be able to put together two halves. And even though that we've only lost one game this year, we have yet to play two halves. And you've got some big games coming up this weekend. You've got Lakeland on uh, Saturday, and I believe you've got uh, Columbus State on uh, Wednesday. So that's going to be some uh, some good games coming up. Yeah, we we got to maintain our, our composure uh, even when the team makes a uh, run at us. we got to continue to do what we've been taught to do and play well through and through. Coach, congratulations on your 21st victory. We'll uh, see you in a couple weeks. All right, thank you. Thanks. Coach Good job, Harris, Coach. Joining us, getting his thoughts there. And uh, Tommy, uh, he'll take it, I'm sure. No, no doubt about it. And, you know, you're 7-0 you're in the league, and your you're big road win at Owens against the second-place team you're a little heads, heads and tails above the competition right now in the league. But like he said, you still have to play or somebody's going to be sitting there waiting to knock you off, which Edison could have done tonight with, with a uh, normal Brianna Innocent performance. Absolutely. So our final score here is 70-58. to 58. 
Since State women win their 21st victory. Tom and I will be back with our second game right after this.